The Brown Advisory Stable Plate is next as a Grade 3 handicap over the same distance as the previous Rhino. This is for the horses, just a little bit inferior to those, allegedly. El Centro Air Vinny General is at the top. Need a tonic Greg Beckwith. Still a performance. Leon Van Rensburg. Procretum Sweevy for Graham Clutterbuck. About me and Crogging Detail. James Shane. Monty Land. John Morgan. Jennifer Connolly. Matt Cooper. Eternal Blade. Padraig Hogan. And Tangled for Martin Leadham. So, away and racing. 23 in the Grade 1. And 10 in a handicap. I think that's a little bit backwards. I that needs to be looked at somehow, I don't know. They get to the first and Tangled leads over it, but as it was a bit of a wide open Ryan here really, wasn't it? So I don't blame people for having a crack at the big prizes. They get to the second. So I guess quite a lot of horses would have been ruled out of this either through being out from the weights or out from the Qualifying criteria, criteria with a distance, which again I think is something that needs to be looked at a little bit again because I think it needs to be extended. Horses do seem to be able to stay and perform over a wider range of distances in SO7 than they did in SO6. And Tangled is the leader. With a little over two miles to go. The rest of them are pretty tightly grouped. Monty Land has moved into second, that's a non front running John Morgan horse. They get to the fourth. Oh, it really nearly fell there. I got over it okay. Tangle continuing to lead. Jennifer Connolly's moved into second. Uh, good jump on the outside by stellar performance. Nina Tonic also jumped it well. On Centro Air is just the back marker as they come up past the stands. Then they got a complete circuit ahead of them yet. Get over and he's in the straight first and uh, tangled. Let have all he's gone this time. Monty Land, that's the second time he made a mistake and he paid the price this time. Then I take the offense, it'll be the last time on the next circuit. The leader stood off that for quite, uh, quite a long way but jumped it okay in the end. Crogging details now move through into second. Then Jennifer Connolly and about me with Prickerton Sweevy. After that, then Nita Tonic, stellar performance, Eternal Blade, and finally. At the back, so it's Tangled, who's going to lead them away from the stands, leading by about four lengths or so. Crogging detail is in second. Jennifer Connolly's moved through into third. The grey pericotum Sweeney on the outside, and again the leader stood off that, but jumped it well enough. Heading down towards the water now. Tangled two lengths clear of Crogging detail in second. Then pericotum Sweeney wide on the track in third with About Me and El Centro here, then Jennifer Connolly just dropped back a place or two, still a performance is right on the back of that one, and then the back pair of Eternal Blade and Nita Tonic as I take this ditch, and again, oh, it was a crashing fall at the back there for still a performance, and El Centro, or was that one already gone? I can't remember, I don't think it had, I think they're both just gone there, and they're all safely over that next one, and the race is turning into something of a bit of a drama now with Tangled continuing to lead. Crogging Detail is in second. Three of the main trainers have crashed out already as they head towards this next ditch and the leader jumped out a little bit slowly this time and that's allowed Crogging Detail to take it up. Crogging Detail on the outside of Tangled. Then About Me. Then Pericotum Sweevy and Jennifer Connolly and then Nita Tonic as they take the next and Tangled just jumped back into the lead there. Eternal Blade is now the one struggling at the back as they begin to swing left-handed and come towards these two tricky fences before they get into the straight. Tangled on the inside. About me looks to be going better in second. In third place is Nita Tonic, then Crogging Detail, then Jennifer Connolly and Pericotum Sweevy. I think Eternal Blade might be out of it as they come to this tricky third last. Tangled is going to lead into it from About Me in second. Nita Tonic is in third. Over that one they go. In fourth is Crogging Detail, then Pericotum Sweevy, Jennifer Connolly. They're racing down towards the turn for home then. Now there's still two fences to take 
Pink in the straight and Tangled is in front but now the grey Pericotum Sweevy is coming through to challenge about me's back in third then Nita Tonic Jennifer Connolly and Krog in detail Eternal Blade tailing off they're going towards the straight then now two to get over and Tangled leads from the grey Pericotum Sweevy closest to us the bottom weight Tangled is in the lead gets over the second last but a better jump by Pericotum Sweevy here comes Jennifer Connolly in third they race down towards the final fence in the in the plate then now and it's Tangled who stood off it but got over to Pritchett and Sweevy has gone Pritchett and Sweevy down over last and Tangled still in the lead but here comes Jennifer Connolly Jennifer Connolly and Nita Tonic are flying Tangled needs to hold on here comes Jennifer Connolly Jennifer Connolly is beginning to get up and it's Jennifer Connolly who's going to take it I think from Nita Tonic and about me Jennifer Connolly takes it from Nita Tonic and about me Tangled and looking in fourth and then after that was Eternal Blade what an action packed drama filled race that turned out to be Well, that's Matt Cooper's first Cheltenham Festival winner or not, but if it isn't, it's almost certainly his best. Jennifer Connolly takes it for Matt Cooper, need a tonic second for Craig Beckwith, about me for James Shea, was third. Tangled, the long-time leader for Martin Lennon was fourth, and Croggy in this other James Shea was fifth, so well done to Matt Cooper. I've got a feeling that well may well be his first Cheltenham Festival winner. And I've got to say, I thought I was going to pull off a Barney Curly-like coup there. Tangled, never seen a fence until last week. And so got in off bottom weight and very nearly won it.